Welcome to another episode of my Liverpool series here on Football Manager 2019 and today we have got the second leg of the last 16 knockout against Juventus. That didn't make sense, last 16 of the Champions League against Juventus. We got a two-all draw in Turin so we are in pole position to go through. We've also got Chelsea at home in the Premier League as well actually let me um, put the arrow down. This has been a really solid start to this episode by the way see Juventus and Chelsea let's have a look at what we've done since last time so the first game we played was a 2-1 win over Watford Troy Deeney put Watford in front it looked like we might lose the game until Jose and Mane turned it on its head late on to give us all three points we then had a 5-1 thrashing of Arsenal Cater Mane Salah with two and Virgil van Dijk on the score sheet with a Wobi scoring for Arsenal were very very emphatic victory there that followed that was followed by a 1 0 win over Crystal Palace. We got lucky, Joel Ward with an own goal. We were very, very average at a point, probably would have suited us. Both sides were pretty terrible. And then we had a 2 1 win over Bournemouth. And in this game, I decided to experiment with a back five. I don't really know why, I just did. Um, and what I did is I tried to put Salah up front with Simeone because I felt Simeone needed a little bit more support and it worked because he got a goal. And the other guy that I bought in for the game, Joe Gomez, he got a goal as well. Ryan Fraser equalised for Bournemouth, but Simeone won it for us in the 53rd minute. So if we have a look at the old Premier League table, we're now eight points clear, which is massive considering that, you know, it was pretty tight last time you were with us. We managed to pull out quite a gap, although Tottenham have got game in hand. They've won their last five, so they're not out of this yet. Chelsea obviously still in contention. As well, I think Man United have kind of dropped off a bit now. I don't think, well, 15 points behind with eight games to go. There's no way that they're going to be challenging. But yeah, eight points clear. We're looking in a really healthy position right now. Um, I haven't really got anything to let you know about. So let's just get straight into the Juventus game. Okay, so here we go then. Just one thing to tell you about. Manalas is suspended for today's game. So Gomez comes in for him at centre-back. So this is the team. We've got Alisson in goal. Back four of Alexander Arnold, Van Dyke, Gomez, and Robertson, Fabinho, and Keita in that midfield two. Salah on the right, Marnie on the left, and then Fabinho, for, for me, Fabinho, where did that come from? Fabinho behind Simeone up front. Um, Keita and Salah are at risk of suspension if we progress, if they pick up a yellow card tonight. But I'm hoping that, I mean, we are in a very good position to get the business done. But obviously, in real life, I remember. Spurs being in the exact same position last year, they got a two-all draw in Turin, and then they lost it at home. So, I'm hoping that it's not going to be the same for us. They're lining up with pretty much the same formation, so it's basically going to be down to who's the best team on the night. We kept Ronaldo quite quiet in Turin, obviously that's not going to be the same uh, today. I think I might be calm, actually. Uh, we got a guard against Kim all over to you have a good one tonight i don't know whether that was the best thing to go for but never mind i might try and cancel it out with a passionate thing passionate uh i say show me what you got tonight i want to see a good display that didn't really work either but yeah, obviously two all um which you know we're in a great position but um we just need to make the most of that tonight if we can get an early goal settle the nerves that would be awesome Alisson hoops it up towards Simeone, it wins the header, Simeone into the box all the way, cleared by Chesney, when it's cleared by somebody else, Salah back to Keita, Keita looks for Robertson on that left hand side, plays it across, Bonucci gets it clear and now it's with Gomez and the highlight ends unfortunately, that is a really, really promising start for us here, right, Alexander Arnold with a free kick, saved by Chesney, pushed or well, cleared away by Alexandro, that's two very good chances we've had already, Alexander Arnold with another free kick whips it in and Van Dijk, oh, unlucky. On another day, that might have nestled in the net. Alexander Arnold with another free kick. We've got a lot of set pieces. Virgil Van Dijk heads it on. Salah, not quite. Then there was a foul in there. Juventus have got a free kick. Oh no, that's not good. Sadio Mane, I think he should be alright. We'll keep him on. It's only a bruise. It should be fine. But yeah, how about that Liverpool fan? Just six points clear. Is it six points clear in the Premier League now after Man City lost yesterday? I mean, that isn't 
things could not be going better for you right now. I see a six point lead over Spurs, isn't it? Because they took they overtook Man City. So yeah, it's been a pretty rosy Christmas for you guys. You're in a you're in a pretty good position. Still unbeaten as well, halfway through a season. So fair play to you. You're doing really well. So we're getting towards half time. We've absolutely battered Juventus with no reward whatsoever. But as it stands, we are going through on away goals. I think I will just be. I think I'll be assertive. Or should I? I think you played well so far, but there's still room for improvement. I think that's the best I can really do in this situation. Obviously, as it stands, it would, we'd go through, but obviously, one Juventus goal could completely ruin that, so we need to make sure that we are on top at all times. Right, this seems to be an extended highlight at the start of the first half. Rajani dispossesses Salah, then clips it forward to no real purpose, and Van Dijk one, might want to hurry up a bit. Gives it back to Alisson. Now Alisson coming out of his goal, pins one over to Mane, who seems to be okay. Sadio Mane on the left-hand side, swings it in, Simeone's there, and Simeone scores. His fifth goal for Liverpool. We're 1-0 up. Awesome ball in from Mane. Simeone got that. I told you in the last episode, didn't I? Those, those two link up really, really well. And I've just gobbed on my laptop. So that's really good. There's Mane on the left-hand side. And Cancelo didn't put a tackle in. Simeone gets in front of the two centre-backs. And that is awesome. So Juventus now need two. If they want to progress without reply. Obviously, if we score another one now, they're going to need three. Costa is Firmino into Cater. Can we even get another goal soon after this one? Robertson plays it into Simeone again. Oh. I know Simeone's not the best footballer in the world, but he's just, he's a, he knows where, he knows how to get in the right positions. And he's got those sort of little, uh, what am I trying to say is Mane's in. Mane makes it 2-0. We'll get on to Simeone in a minute. Mane makes it 2-0. Liverpool, it looks like we're going through. Juventus need three without reply. It was the ball from Salah that did it. Salah pings it in. And Cancelo again completely misses it. Sadio Mane's there. But like I was saying, um, Simeone just does the little things right. Do you know what I mean? The link-up play and getting into the right positions. I mean, it, it makes up for him not being the best striker. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's still a very, very good striker. But he's not like an elite striker. But I think his positioning and his timing of his runs sort of make up for that. Right, Keita has picked up that yellow card, which means that he will miss um, the quarter-final. I'm going to bring Wijnaldum on for him now. And I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring Shaqiri on for uh, Marnie as well because obviously he's had that little injury um, Sam is also one to watch as well because obviously he's on the other card and could miss the quarters as well so it might be worth taking him off at some point and is that a penalty oh what happened there that was weird I didn't see I didn't see any of that play it was almost like play stopped I maybe I wasn't concentrating properly let's have another look at this Acosta swings the ball in Ronaldo meets it headed away by Gomez and Rajani just absolutely levers one <laughs> and uh, Alisson gets nowhere near it and it's 2-1 because Salah's at risk what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Pepe on and we're going to try and go a little bit more defensive we're going to go to a back three and then I think what I might do is I might put Firmino out on the right even though he isn't majorly accustomed to playing out there and we're going to try for a balanced approach and I think we'll try and time waste now a lot and be a bit more disciplined as well and see if we can just hold out because obviously Juventus have given themselves hope and we want to try and annihilate that hope because if they get another one now it's going to get really really nervy and if they get another one now it's going to extra time so we want to be quite wary as De Chilio comes forward for them, Douglas Costa's all on his own, and that's a massive save from Allison. Not the first time he's done that this season, but that might just have kept us ahead. Costa with another corner, Pepe heads away, this is getting really nervy now, Quadrado. I can't believe that. I got all confident when Mane 
they scored. Juventus have turned it around. I've got no substitutes left to use. I just realised that I've used all three subs and I haven't got Mo Salah. Oh no, what have I done? I've bolted too early. I completely forgot. I just assumed that I'd been cocky. I thought we'd get through. I thought extra time wouldn't be an issue. I've used all three subs and I haven't got Mo Salah on the pitch or Sadio Mane. I have made a complete mess up of this. I've screwed this up completely. They might win it here, Costa into Ronaldo. Right, I have made a massive, massive mistake here. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, right. We're going to have to, right, team talk. I think we're just going to be, we're going to be aggressive. It's a great opportunity to do, 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 do. Right, we're going to have to, tactics. I'm going to have to push Alexander-Arnold and Robertson further forward. I can't believe I've messed it up to this magnitude. I just did not anticipate extra time at all. I've made a complete and utter mess of this. Hopefully we can claw it back, but we haven't got any of our best players on the pitch. I mean, we've got Firmino, but actually, unless, hold on, we'll have a slight tactical tweak here. Probably something I should have done a while ago. We'll put Firmino up front with Simeone, and then we'll put Shakiri in behind. We'll see what that does. We'll have Shakiri as an advanced playmaker. this up. Right, here we go out to Shakiri, who just had a corner that didn't really amount to anything. Firmino hits the bar. I think we're time-wasting. I don't know why. I need to take that off again. Time-wasting. Never. I'm going to try and be a little bit more direct as well. We hit early crosses, because that seems to cause problems. Right, at half-time, still 2-2. Two -two. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, God. This is... This would be if we lose this time. This might be one of my all-time biggest screw-ups in a series. Definitely since I started YouTube. Might be one of my biggest football manager screw-ups ever. <laughs> it looks like we might be going to a penalty shootout without Salah, without Mane, unless Robertson. Robertson loses the ball. That's not good. Now Emre Chan, former Liverpool player, collects it, looks for Quadrado. Quadrado pings it forward into Ronaldo. This could be it. Cristiano Ronaldo. Alisson again in a one-on-one -on -one situation is awesome. But now it's Juventus' turn. Again, Bonucci. Bonucci curls it and it's wide. Right into added Tom Gomez. Gomez, just get it forward, you idiot. You've wasted 20 seconds. You moron. We haven't got time wasting on any more. Like Robertson with the throw, hurry up. Roberts, just get it in there. Simeone, oh, just can't believe what I've seen. I really can't. I honestly thought when we made it 2 0, I thought that was it. Oh. Right, we're going to penalties. Seems to have decided for what I'm going to do. Because Fabinho, Fabinho is my best penalty taker, I'm going to put him fourth. It's a strategy that I always use because I, I like having my best penalty takers towards the end but not so they might not take one so Shakiri's gonna go fifth actually I'll put James Milner second with Leon Jose third and then Vinaldum Robertson Van Dyke Pepe even though it's I still like to have an order even though the game will assume it Alexander Arnold's going to take the first one. James Milner can take the second one. William Jose, who is. Where is William Jose? Can't see him on this list. He's not even on the pitch. He's not even on the pitch, you idiot. Who am I missing then? Must be Firmino. Oh, you're an idiot. You are such a friggin' idiot. Right. Right, it'll just be that order. Wijnaldum can go up there. Robertson can go last. I'm such a twonk. Right, let's get into this shootout. Juventus are going to go first. It's Cristiano Ronaldo who could score a brilliant penalty but could also sky it. 
and he does well. Alexander Arnold with our first penalty. Come on, man. Penalty shootouts in um, Champions League ties are actually quite rare. I actually can't remember the last time one went to penalties. We scored ours. Now it's Paolo Dybala to potentially make it two. Oh, he's missed. He's missed it. Right, Roberto Firmino to make it 2-1. Come on, come on, Roberto, please. No, he has it saved as well. I don't want to be here all night. I really don't. Bernadeschi. Bernadeschi scores 2-1 Juventus. Now it's Fabinho. Fabinho is supposed to be... Hold on. Fabinho is supposed to be fourth. That's off the... Oh, come on, game. It's not on my side today. I, I picked Fabinho fourth, didn't I? I'm sure I did. Oh, unless there was someone not on the pitch. James Milner's not on the pitch. You idiot. I was... Oh, God, I'm such an idiot today. James Milner, I was confident. I was like, oh, yeah, James Milner can take our second penalty. Didn't even realise he wasn't on the pitch. I've been an absolute spanner today. Pjanic steps up, saved by Alisson. And we could win. If we score this penalty, we could win the shootout. And it's going to be Jorginho Wijnaldum with the chance to send us through. And if he scores this penalty, then my friends, we have really, really got away with one. Right. Fine Alden is going to step up. Oh, Jesus. No! No! I swear penalties on this game are never sorted within the first five. This is going to go on forever now. Douglas Costa. Viventus. Costa scores. It comes down to this one. Virgil van Dijk. Captain fantastic. Even though he's not our captain. Against Wojciech Szczesny. For the chance to save our backsides basically Virgil van Dijk oh, only just 4-4 Emre Chan oh god if he scored the winner obviously all he can do is score at the moment and it's up to us and he fires it into the roof and the net is 5-4 oh Jesus right Pepe I've, I've completely forgotten the order of penalty takers now Pepe to step up and keep us in the shootout. Pepe against Chesney. Come on, man. Please. Please, Pepe. Ooh, oh, five all. I'm worried that this penalty shootout is never going to end now. It's Quadrado against Allison. Quadrado scores. This is never going to end, is it? At, at every penalty shootout. Football manager seems to go on for an absolute eternity. I don't know why. It's going to be Joe Gomez now. Oh, every penalty is just... Just heart-wrenching. I'm not heart-wrenching, but... Right, Gomez. Oh, only just six all. Okay, DeShilio. Missed. Saved by Allison. Right, this has to go in. I do not want this going on forever. Who's going to take it? It's going to be Allison. Oh, God. Alisson could win the penalty shootout for us here. Oh my days. Oh god, I am I, I'm absolutely bricking it now. You kind of facing the wrong way, fella. Alisson to win the shootout. He's done it. He's done it. Alisson has scored the winner with through. We have got away with that big time. Absolutely big time. Oh my god, that was one hell of an episode. Well done, lads. Joe, what? Yeah, Joe, I was going to say, well done, lads. That was a good win for us. Even though, even though we got away with it, even though I screwed up tactically. Oh my days. Well, that was mental. That was real tug on the harsh. Not harsh. Why do I keep going for emotional? Start? What I meant was it. I was crapping myself basically. Um, Sadio Mane's got a bruised ankle again. That is right, 8 million. There we go. Mane in form as Liverpool in shootout, even though Mane wasn't involved in the shootout. Obviously, perfect in front of the goal last time. I'll keep it up. Just
you know what guys, I think because I imagine this episode has gone on for quite a long time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the episode here and then we'll play Chelsea in the next episode because I, I, I imagine that obviously with the shootout and the tactical buffoonery, um, I imagine this episode has gone on for quite a long time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it here and then the next episode will be Chelsea at home so we are going to end things off now. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like on there if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Comment below any thoughts and suggestions you may have. Um, if you'd like to check me out on social media and check out my other channels, the links to those will be in the description below. But thank you once again and I will see you for the Chelsea game. Bye for now.